<clears throat> hello everyone i'm talking to you in this video on how to develop unique bakery products in nigeria unique in the sense that it's different from what is being done before or it's a modification which is better so people have another taste another kind still make still of bakery products people eating what they already know but when you introduce something a modification you add something to it they are going to like it so how do you develop it that is what we'll be looking at in this video today. Please like this video. Please help me to like it now. Thank you. How to develop unique bakery products in Nigeria. Creating unique bakery products can set your business apart from the competition. Can also help you to attract loyal customer base. Can also boost your sales. In Nigeria, where diverse cultural influences and a growing food industry present exciting opportunities. Developing unique bakery products can give your business a competitive edge. This guide in this video provides a step-by-step -step approach to creating innovative and appealing bakery items tailored to the Nigerian market. I have a detailed bakery business plan already written and I will give it to you if you ask me for it. All you need to do is to request for it in the comment section and leave your email during so that I can send it to you. Any kind of business plan that relates to pot that I say poetry, I have put down poetry, not in this one. Any kind of business plan that relates to bakery that you need specifically, ask me in the comment section. I will prepare it and I will send it to you. Make sure you leave your email in the comment section where you are asking for it. I will prepare it and I will send it to your email directly within 48 hours. In this video, please be patient with me for a few minutes to learn how to develop unique bakery products in Nigeria. This is Dr. Olubengale Tutu TV. If you are a first timer on this channel, welcome and please subscribe and share this video. All timers, you are my successful people. I thank you again and again. Please, everyone, go ahead now and like this video. Now, this is how to develop unique bakery products in Nigeria. Number one way is to understand your market understand your market i cannot overemphasize the people you are dealing with know them understand what they want if on your own you cannot understand your market invite experts that this is their own work their work is analysis of market trends so they will help you you give them some money they will help you to analyze the market and you follow the analysis they do for you you see that you get to the next level now many people don't like spending money on business in nigeria they say ah this business that I'm just managing, you have money to invest four million in a business. You have money to invest three million, two million, one million in a business, even five hundred thousand in a business, and you don't have a consultant, and you don't have somebody that that is special specialized in helping people to analyze business. I'm telling you, you are joking. You are joking. You need a coach. You need somebody that will serve as a business coach and that is paid, not that your one of your auntie is the one doing this, the one doing that. No, the coach is paid. His responsibility is to make sure you is to make sure he advise you. Is to make sure he crack his head and tell you go here, do this, do this, and you do them and you get results. Please, I want to plead with you: if you are in business, be in business. If you're not ready for business, no, you're not ready for business. Don't just be playing and be playing, be playing pranks and think you're in business. Because of this, I have in included membership on my YouTube channel. Now, this membership does not affect. What I am, what um, the content I'm producing and other things. But people who want to go deeper, who want to go a step further, I've created membership for them so that we can discuss at close range. We can discuss by Zoom. We can discuss one on one. We can discuss more. I can be able to track and follow their business and advise them, and even advise them on the business that they can do based on their location, based on many things. So, and I can also monitor the business uh, for them and give them expert advice. So, on that basis, if you check. Below this video, you see the join. So go and check it out and you can join if you are interested. It's not compulsory and it does not affect the content and that are producing on the, on this video channel. So number one is to understand your market. As I've said, before developing new products, it is essential to understand your market, your target market. So how do you understand your market target? You conduct market research. As I've said now, I say conduct market research. Now your own, you just go and be conducted. You say you are doing market research. You have to give this to somebody to do for you if you really mean business to conduct market research for you. So conduct market research as identify trends, preferences, and gaps in the market. Use surveys, focus groups, and social media posts 
to gather customer insight. Can you do it by yourself? Do you know how to do it? Do you know how to go about it? That is why you have to pay for it. I'm not saying you pay me for it. Go and pay any expert that is expert in this. Another thing you can do is analyze your competitors. Study your competitors' offerings to understand what works and what doesn't. Look for opportunities to offer something different. Number two, incorporate local flavors and ingredients. Leveraging local flavors and ingredients can make your bakery products stand out. There's a honey that uh, is being done somewhere in somewhere my university precisely. It's pure honey. So if you want to buy just pure honey, no addition, they have it. If you want to buy honey that they have put ginger in, they have it. So everybody knows that ginger is good and they have other flavors. Ginger is added to this one. This is added to this one. This is added to this one. These are all local flavors. So, ah, ginger is in the honey. They buy it. They enjoy it because it's, uh, they added some local flavors. So you also can do this and add some indigenous um, ingredients like cassava, like yam, like uh, local spices into your recipe. And even like plantains, you can add them as part of the recipe. So the plantain, you grind it and you add it to the or at the point in the baking. So the flavor later is going to come out like that and some people are going to like it. Now, another thing you can do is blend traditional and modern. Create fusion products that combine traditional and Nigerian flavors with modern baking techniques. Number three, experiment with unique recipes. Innovation is very, very important. So innovation is key to developing unique bakery products. Test new recipes. Experiment with different flavor combinations textures and ingredients don't be afraid to try unconventional ide ideas the next thing is to seek feedback share samples with trusted customers or friends and gather their feedback to refine your recipes number four is to focus on presentation the way you present your bakery products can make a significant impact eye-catching designs use creative designs and decorations to make your products visually appealing. Think of color glazes, intricate patterns, and unique shapes. And then another thing is packaging. Invest in attractive and functional packaging that reflects your brand and protects your products. Number five, offer health-conscious options. Catering to health-conscious cons consumers can broaden your market. You know, there's somebody that was selling ice cream. You know, this ice cream, local ice cream make with, uh, with sugar, just add sugar and uh, some color and water. And then he will be selling ice cream, ice cream, ice cream. They will not buy it. And then it's in a Yoruba setting in Nigeria. And he used to go to the market. Then the bicycle man that was selling the ice cream, he just changed his strategy. He changed his to them, take their shea, take their shea. That means the, if they buy it, it's going to repair their blood. Everybody started trooping to buy the ice cream, even though it's just made up of sugar, made of sugar, uh, water and color. They started trooping to buy the ice cream. That was the strategy he used. But in your own bakery, you can do it in a better way by telling them the truth and adding the true ingredients to it. People also are going to troop to buy from you. So you offer health conscious options. Catering to health conscious consumers can broaden your market. Health ingredients. Use whole grains, natural sweeteners, and low fat options in your recipe and let the customers know that this is what is in this, and they are going to go for it. Then they, they, they are dietary alternatives offer products that cater to dietary restrictions, such as gluten-free, vegan, or low-sugar options. This is Dr. Lubin Gadget TV. If you are a first-timer on this channel, welcome and please subscribe and share this video. Old timers, you are my successful people. I thank you again and again. Please. I want both all the old timers and the new people that are just joining to go ahead and like this video now. I want to see the number of likes to be equivalent to the number of views. Please go ahead. As I'm watching now, please like it now. Let's go on to number six, which is create seasonal and limited edition items. Limited time offers can create excitement and urgency among customers. Seasonal products develop products that celebrate local festivals holidays or seasons. Think of Christmas themed cakes or Independence Day cookies. Then you also have limited editions. Introduce limited edition items to create a sense of exclusivity and encourage repeat visits. You can also have what is called a sale, sale offers. So they, uh, you are selling normally for, talking about the Nigerian audience, you are selling normally for 1,000. During the sales, you bring it down to 900. 
you make it that during this uh, from the 14th of the month to 30th of the month instead of 1000 i'm going to sell it for 900 you are going to get more people that will buy and then when they buy they will be buying, they will be buying because it's cheaper. They will be buying, they will be buying. People who have not been buying before, they will come in to buy. And then even after you have finished the sales and you have gone back to 1,000, they will still be buying. After three months again, you come back with sales again. Some people that have bought before in that 900, they become your loyal customers. Some people now are also going to join. And then from time to time, you have sales. That will make you to have more business. So during every holiday, salary holiday, uh, any public holiday, and the big seller, the small seller in Nigeria, Christmas, Easter. Then you also have the uh, Independence Day. Then you have the January one. Then you have the all these kind of every time you prepare for sales. So you make more sales during those times, and then you'll be glad you did. Now that number seven thing you need to do is to gather customer feedback. Listening to your customers can help to refine your offerings and ensure they keep they meet their needs. Surveys and polls. Regularly conduct surveys or social media polls to gather feedback on new products. Install feedback. Encourage customers to share their thoughts and suggestions when they visit your bakery. Number eight, stay updated with global trends. Keeping an eye on global baking trends can inspire new ideas. International flavors. Incorporate popular international flavors and techniques into your products. I went to a mall in Nigeria and the baking system they were using was electric. So it's there, they've arranged everything into the pan. They've arranged everything, the flour mixture, ready into the pan. And as I was standing at the counter, we are seeing the machine. The machine is long, machine or uh, vertical on the floor. Then it's turning. It's turning. As it's turning, we're seeing the inside. We see the inside again. We see the inside. And then with time, it bakes. Then they put it off. And then in our presence, they draw it out and do it. But the local bakery, they use firewood. They use every other thing. And then they are drawing it out. They are sweating. They are, this one, they are not sweating. They are not doing anything. So you use modern, modern equipment. You can look for the small one of that one if you cannot go for the big one. And the big one. So baking innovation. Stay informed about new baking technologies and methods that can enhance your offerings. Then number nine, leverage social media for promotion of your bakery. Use social media platforms to showcase your unique products and attract customers. Number the how you do this engaging content, you share high quality photos behind the scene videos and customer testimonials. Then you can get celebrities to hold your, your bread or some of your baked products, and then some of your cake you've made. Some um, some of these celebrities that people love can hold it and say this is the, the, the type of bread I love. So with some some money. The celebrity we we agree to hold that and get big pictures and talk about it for you, and then you are on the go with your say. People will now rush and say, since this celebrity is eating this, it's good also good for me. I will also go for it. So use post contest question and answer sessions to engage with your audience and build a special for new products. So what I'm saying in essence is that in your business you have to think long term. If you don't advertise, how people know about your business? So people that are not producing uh, for the local. Yeah, even the local area, they don't know what they don't know what they offer. So you produce and make people know what you offer, and then target people who can afford what you're selling, and then like that. So collaborate with local businesses. Partnerships can help you reach new customers and create unique offerings. Local collaborations uh, partner with local farms, coffee shops, or other businesses to create co-branded products. I know a bakery that uh, collaborates with uh, a soft drink company. So normally the bread costs this. Normally the soft drink costs this amount. So they will not tell you that the combination is this. Let's say normally the big product, the bread costs 800 and the soft drink costs um, 500. That is already 1003. They will tell you that if you buy the two together, you pay one two or you pay one one. People start going for it. People start rushing it. It's either they wanted to sell the soft drink or they wanted to sell the bread. People started rushing it. They started rushing it. And before you know it, they make more sales. People start eating that kind of bread, eating that kind of bread. If they eat it for one month, it becomes a habit. Then even whether the Coke is added to it or not, they will go and buy the bread separately and buy the Coke separately and buy the drink separately. So that is how you can strategize. So all these are ways. Don't look at it that, oh, I'm going to lose money. 
in the process. You're not going to lose money. Instead, so you make money. It's a way of advertising. Developing unique bakery products in Nigeria involves understanding your Developing unique bakery products in Nigeria involves understanding your market, experimenting with new recipes, and leveraging local flavors and ingredients. By focusing on presentation, offering health-conscious options, and staying updated with global trends, you can create products that stand out and attract a loyal customer base. Gathering customer feedback and using social media for promotion will further enhance your success. Collaborating with local businesses and partners participating in community events can also help you reach new customers and build a strong brand presence. For more tips on developing unique bakery products in Nigeria, subscribe to Dr. Olumengade Tutu TV and stay tuned for expert advice and insights. This is Dr. Olumengade Tutu TV. If you're a first timer on this time or this channel, I welcome you and please I want you to subscribe, share the link of this video and also like this video. Old timers, you are my successful people. I thank you again and again and I want you to like this video right now. Go ahead now and watch this next video showing on your screen from my channel. I will see you in the next one. Bye bye.